In this demonstration, you will see how you can use Ansible and Ansible Tower to automate Amazon Web Services. What you see in this demo is how you can use Ansible modules to create Elastic Compute Cloud resources, how to configure Ansible Tower with the AWS credentials. We will examine the playbook to provision the EC2 resources, the modules which we use in the playbook. And finally, at the end of the demo, you will see how you can use Ansible Tower Dynamic Inventory to discover the newly created EC2 instances. So let's get started. Ansible by default comes with a lot of certified modules for provisioning resources in Amazon Web Services, especially Elastic Compute Cloud, which is EC2. And in this demonstration, we will be using uh, six modules from EC2 to create virtual private cloud, subnet, internet gateway, security groups, and finally the instance. Before we start, we need to make sure that you have the AWS credentials being added in your Ansible Tower. So let's log into Ansible Tower and see how you can create the credentials. Choose credentials. Click on create the new credential and choose Amazon Web Services as the credential type. Then you need to give the access key and the secret key. For the purpose of this demonstration, I already created an AWS type credential. And going to the playbook, the playbook has multiple tasks. The first task is using the EC2 VPC net module to create the virtual private cloud. And uh, we'll be using the CIDR block of 10.10.0.0.16. 10, and in the playbook, I have a variable defined in the name AWS underscore region, mapping to the Amazon Singapore region, which is AP-Southeast-1. And the second task will create an internet gateway to give external access to the instances which we create. And this internet gateway will be created in the same virtual private cloud which we created in the task 1. Once we have the internet gateway created, we can create the subnet using EC2 VPC subnet module. Again in the same virtual private cloud which we created in the previous task. Then later for giving instances external access and to access instance from external network, we need to create a uh, route using EC2 VPC route table module. And in the route, we create the destination as 0000 bus 0 and give the gateway ID of the internet gateway which we created in the previous task. And to access the created instance over SSH, we are creating an AWS security group giving access to port number 22 from anywhere and obviously for production environments you make sure that you give access only to the network or IP you want to give access to and finally we have an EC2 module being used in the playbook which will basically create a rel 8 instance combining all the resources which we created in the previous tasks so in this demo, I use a pre-created AWS key in the name Ansible Tower AWS key, uses an instance type of t2.medium, and we use a Red Hat certified RHEL 8 Amazon machine image using the same security group which we created earlier, and the same virtual private cloud subnet, and we will assign a public IP to uh, access this instance from outside. So let's see the playbook which we have. So it starts with the variable definition, the EC2 VPC net module to create the VPC, the internet gateway for EC2 VPC IGW module. Then coming down you see EC2 VPC subnet, EC2 VPC route table, then the security group and finally the task using the ECT module to provision the relate instance. And the playbook actually ends with a debug module showing the 
EC2 instance public IP. Before I actually provision this playbook within my tower, let's see the current state of our Amazon cloud. I don't have any instance in my Singapore region. I only have the default virtual private cloud which is being uh, created as part of the default Amazon account. So let me go and create the instance by running the job template which is AWS create underscore resource which basically uses the playbook which I showed earlier. So let me go and execute this job template. The job template is running. While it is executing, let's go and refresh the VPC to see whether the VPC is created. You see the Ansible underscore tower underscore VPC being created with the new subnet 10 10 10 0 0 by 20. You see the route table being created. There is an internet gateway being created just now. Going to security groups, you should actually see a new security group, AWS security group for Ansible Tower demo. And coming to the instances, let's refresh to see whether the instance is getting created. Yes, the instance is getting created. And finally, at the end of the job, you should actually be seeing your public IP for the instance. So it is just waiting for the job template to be over. So I just see the public IP shown as 130.250.100.1112. So it is 13.250.100.1112. Let me just try to log in to that instance using the Amazon key which I created earlier. Enter. I think the instance is getting started, so let's wait for some more time. Momentarily, the instance should be up and running. So if you come here and check, you know the status is up and running. And the Ansible Tower is actually successful. So Going further, let's actually see how we can use the AWS Dynamic Inventory script to discover the newly created host. So if I go back to my inventory, I already have a AWS inventory, but it doesn't have any host as of now. So what I do here is I will actually do a sync process, which will basically connect to the AWS API and find out the newly created host. So this is over, sync is completed. If I go to host, you would see the same host 13250.100.112. So by now the instance should be up and running. You see it as up and running. I was able to SSH. Now when I check the Red Hat release, you see it is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.1. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Thank you for watching.